When I was on Reddit yesterday collecting information for the second segment of the day, I also came across this little gem on the same subreddit. We're off to a great start. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. Um, so today, it's a 23 minute video I ran into from our good friend Hero Lee, and I, uh, I, I don't know man, I, I, I've gone through 20 minute videos of, uh, of exceptional individuals like the Game Sleuth, and you know what, Hero Hey, he's quite exceptional. In his own right, and I, I, I gotta be honest with you guys, I don't think I can watch this entire thing without losing brain cells. So uh, I might set up a Patreon for the future uh, in a in a couple of like you know days or so, where you know you could pay me ten bucks to to you know watch an atrocious video like this, thirty minutes max, and uh, get my thoughts on it. But for now, I'm, I'm only gonna go look a little bit of this hero hey video uh this this exceptional hero hey video titled dude wrote an essay trying to defend funimation i uh, i i don't like this i i right off the bat i think this is cringe as shit and let me explain why this whole funimation are evil bad guys thing in the weeb community is getting exceptionally cringe it's like all right guys we get it they're part of the cancel culture bs like every other corporation ever because you know uh there are there are things called blm that exists as well and then there there are people that are just gonna bend the knee to corporations because at the end of the day i gotta tell you something guys and this might be hard for you guys to realize um money beats everything and money is the only thing that matters to pretty much anyone if they ever tell you otherwise they're fucking lying uh you know corporations that goes like a hundred percent more for them so, of course, Funimation is going to get rid of any liabilities, and who cares? At, at the end, at, I'm at the point where I'm so jaded that I, I see it for what it is, right? And another thing is, on that note, if you want to make Funimation look like the, the be-all, end-all of evil, like, shouldn't you be looking at the other face of evil, which is essentially, sorry, let me take a sip of my, uh, uh, totally, uh... <laughs> Well, I'm just gonna fuck. I'm just gonna take a sip of this. Hold on. <sighs> okay. Sorry about that. The other phase <laughs> of evil. Totally professional here. We keep it 100% professional on my channel. I'm sorry. The other face of evil, which is the, the doxers, right? Funimation. You know, like you can say, oh, they they got rid of your uh your contract, oh. Or, or something good like yeah doxers literally put your information and put you in fucking danger like your like i'm talking like your life danger ish right and they'll give me this shit where it's like oh it's all information dogs all over the internet yeah yeah information dogs all over the internet put together in one convenient little package for anybody to do what they want to it yeah that's super fucking convenient oh that's so good that's such a good way to phrase it. You guys would give the leftists a run for their money. Because that's just the way they'd phrase it. That little rant aside, I just kind of want to call out Hero Lee for saying that basically throughout this whole video, uh, that Funimation is the root of all evil, which is what I'm getting at from the first, like, 30 seconds or minute of this shit. And they're like, oh, that's the root of all evil, guys. <laughs> And they're like, this guy, this Reddit poster, which by the way, Hero, I love how you conveniently check Reddit for your news. Like, th that's your source for news. Just go ahead and think about it. Random fucking Reddit posters are what you use as a news source. I can't make this shit up. Like, if you don't think that's the most mediocre form of fucking reporting, like, I don't know what that says about bounding into comics. I don't know what that says about One Angry Gamer. Like, they're just about ready to take any chump on YouTube and use them as a credible news source. I think it's pretty fucking pathetic. And the fact that this guy is literally using Twitter and Reddit all the freaking time as his news outlets of choice for verification on information is pretty fucking pathetic. It's more pathetic than the time Hirohei went to freaking Anime Expo and told like some black guy that I was racist on purpose. Like literally went ahead out of his way to find a black guy to tell them that Senpai's home is a racist little white boy. Literally cannot make this shit up. That's why I've disliked Hirohei for the longest time and I really can't get over it. I tried but then when I look at it it's like I can't, because Hirohei pretends to be like this harbinger of anti-SJWs when he literally acted like one just because I disagreed with him on a point about My Hero Academia and made him look like a retard on Twitter. He never let that go, even after I took down the tweet, right? 
So, what I'm saying at is, or trying to get at, and what I'm saying at, that's right, what I'm saying at, <clears throat> Hero, you're bitch made, okay? This fucking video is gonna be atrocious, we're gonna see how much of it we can get through, and hopefully you don't copyright strike me, Lee, or copyright claim me, I'll fight it, and we'll see where we go from there if you try, because I remember the last time I tried to do that to your video, I saw you on your fucking... Uh, Discord server, which by the way, yeah, you, you got rid of me there, but you didn't get rid of other things. Like, you need to be more, you need to be better at scrubbing your Discord. Because, you, you know, <laughs> just say, also, there's a little thing called loyalty, uh, Lee. So, yeah, people are going to tell me what you say either way. And that little joke you made was not in jest. I know you, you freaking weasel. Uh, but that's enough of the ranting. We're just going to go ahead and objectively, totally unbiasedly look at Lee's new video. Hero Hey, I'm sorry I keep calling him Lee. Uh, it's just, it has such a good name to, ring, name, ring name to it. I, I just can't help it. Well, anyway, without further ado, guys, sit back, relax, and let's watch this fucking terrible video for at least a little bit. Uh, it, this is Hero Hey uh, being Hero Hey. Pa, 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 play that shit. A giant post, and a very messy one in my opinion, white knighting for Funimation. And the most hilarious thing, maybe not the most hilarious thing, but something I want to point out at the very start of this uh, post is how the author, the original poster, ends the post. Literally a giant straw man. Hero is the type of guy that uses big words or words and debates that mean something, and usually he doesn't end up knowing what the words even mean. That's why he's in so little debates and has been in so little debates and never goes in to explain what he critiques actually is. Like, he'll go ahead and say, Oh my god, this SJW did a straw man. Oh. But he never tells you what a straw man actually is, which kind of makes you wonder, Hero, do you even know what a fucking straw man is, or do you just know that it's a fucking tactic used by the left that people look down on, and you think you look cool and smart by saying that everything that you disagree with is a straw man. I'm just saying, dude, you never really address that. And in this video, you don't address that either. So funny, fun, fun, fun. Also, hero, you suck at debates. People believe in these accusations, and they go to try and straw man why people believe in said claims, which I'll give you the rest of the context for right now, scrolling back at the top. Title, I felt the need to address this about Funimation. Goes on to explain and apologize for the post being messy, says they did their best, etc, etc. And then they say, I thought that this is the best time for me to discuss this. Also, for safety reasons, I will not mention the names of people, specifically YouTubers, who are involved with this issue. I love how the freaking poster actually apologizes for the post being freaking messy in the first place, right? And then Hero Hey proceeds to shit on it anyway. It kind of goes to show the character of both people right now. And Hero Hey is just like that lefty, weaselly, ratty. He's kind of like sleuth in a way, right? Because he takes freaking pot shots at people that can't say anything to him. Right? Even though the person originally making the post came off as, you know, humble as possible and was like, I'm sorry if this, I apologize if this post is going to be shit, is what they said. And then Hero Hey just goes on because he's such a hero and goes ahead and he attacks this person because, you know, once again, if you don't have a platform, it becomes so much easier to attack someone, you know, as we know from the great Ethan Klein Leafy situation. So I don't know, freaking Hero Hey is giving me a lot of H3H3 vibes right now. Not a good look, Lee. Not a good look. But you probably may know who these people are anyways. All right, now let us begin my little essay. So you're not going to provide the information, which I appreciate. I'm going to assume that's for our safety because there's a lot of really insane, crazy, sick, toxic people on Reddit. I love the condescending attitude of Hero Hey. So, so far, this poster has gone out of their way to say, I apologize if this comes off as messy, which Hero Hey then attacks them for that, right? Then they go on to say, I won't be mentioning the YouTubers that have been covering this, aka the YouTubers that milked the shit out of the situation and made it a bigger deal than it was, a la me, Senpai is home, Hero Hey. Flash, but Flash got out earlier. Uh, Tug and Nick Ricada. So, good job, Hero, going ahead. And then the coup de grace, or the cherry on top of all, all this fucking shittery, is that Hero goes on and says, Oh, there are a lot of toxic, screwed up people on Reddit. Oh, what are you fucking talking about, dude? Reddit is like the most tame place on the freaking internet. If you really think Reddit is the worst, foulest person, or foulest place where people, rather, imaginable come together okay first of all i know you're being fucking disingenuous hero because you know the actual sites that have toxic 
horrible, disgusting, terrible people. You just don't want to say it, Lee, because you're too much of a bitch made. Lee. We're not gonna say, we're not gonna say the the word. We're not gonna say the word, guys, because Susan Susan will get mad. We need to we need to keep it a little stable, okay? But I can't help but just get a little upset that Hero's being a little disingenuous weasel right now. I should be used to it by now. Then again. But even still, come on, Reddit? No, man. I know you know what the worst places imaginable are. Again, you're too scared to call them out, which is fine. It's cool, Lee. I get you. You're a Cali boy. I get it. I get it how it works there. But even still, come on, man. Stop being a disingenuous little shit. It's, it's, not, it's not funny. Oh, actually, everything's funny because it's for the lols. Oh. So thank you for not uh, posting our names, I guess. Here we go. It says, ever since around 2015, Funimation has received a couple of accusations from certain anime fans for adding in a few jokes that are somewhat politically fueled in some of their dubs. So a couple of accusations and somewhat politically fueled seems like really insincere framing. Insincere framing, huh? I love how Hiro Hey, the person who's proven to be insincere already in this freaking video, as well if you go back in time and visit his previous BS, as well as his current bullshit as well, aside from the Zaki-chan video, which I actually agreed with. Hiro Hei is probably the most insincere person I've ever met from personal experience, also from a Persona experience. No, I'm not talking about the Japanese game. I'm talking about just his whole character as a whole. It's even gotten so bad that even some of his fans realized how much of a piece of crap he was, or at least how much he was being a little meh at times. But hey, at least he's a cutie, right? <laughs> If you actually did your research like you claim, you would see that there's more than a couple of claims against Funimation. I love how Hero's the one telling you about research when he literally uses Twitter and Reddit as his ways of getting quote-unquote research. And this is a guy that prides himself on being a news channel. <sighs> Hero, you're about as newsworthy as a fucking commentary channel. You're not really smart at all. Once again, the challenge is open if you want me to embarrass you. Um, so, yeah... <sighs> I, I, I don't know, man, this kind of, I mean, I know the whole being a hypocrite doesn't mean you're wrong, but I've been reading this post and it's not as bad as you're trying to make it sound. I know you're trying very hard. Did you already have the narrative of Funimation being like this evil organization where you could be making that argument against other organizations or communities in this world, but you're too much of a bitch to do so? So I love how you focus mainly on Funimation, who's obviously like the weaker of all these organizations. Not going to throw any names, <laughs> Lee LM, uh, and, and others, others, uh, <laughs> oxing sites. You know, Hero... <sighs> I can tell why people get frustrated with you. You you are indeed a spineless muppet. And they've done more than somewhat politically changing some of their dubs. They have overtly added politics. In one of their dubs, they even just talked about Gamergate. I don't know what's so bad about Gamergate, pal, because if it wasn't for Gamergate, there probably wouldn't have been a Comics Gate or a Weeb Wars Gate, whatever the hell. Fun fact, a lot of people that came from those gates actually got relatively popular online and are now making a ton of money. <laughs> Hero Hey, Putting somebody's weird lefty politics, which I don't know why Hero would be against that since he acts more like a lefty than he wants you to believe. Now listen, I don't want to be a Hero Hey, and I don't want this video to go on for 20 minutes because I don't need to stretch content out for money. Yeah, I'm not like them. But I just want to say, take all this food for thought. Right? Try to digest it, get mad, or agree with me, because those are the only two choices at the end of the day. You know, people are really stupid and they want to see everything in black and white, so fine, let's see everything in black and white. If you think Hirohei is a little bitch like I do, press 1. If you think Hirohei is the arbiter of truth and justice and... He's totally not scared of the other sites or, or the other freaking organizations that are actually fucked up. And he's just choosing fun of me. You know what? You know, bottom line, I think Hero's kind of full of shit. I think he's a liar most of the time. He's two-faced. I'm not going to let go of the fact that he literally tried to freaking smear me as early as like eight months ago, nine months ago probably. Very early on in the Weeb War shit. Just because I called him out in a post about My Hero Academia. Like, you really, really think that I'm going to let that go? I mean, I tried to back when everybody told me to bend over and take it, right? But now I just don't feel like it because fuck them. And yeah, Hero, you're a piece of shit. You beat up body pillows <laughs> and uh, you look like a Muppet. 
Case closed. On to the next case. The great senpai's home will solve the next case.